Matt Murphy here with Dave Cohn, chatting about some of the improvements to hatching that have been done over the years. Now, in 2013, they've done some new things to be able to edit hatch from the ribbon. Right. You know, we've got the hatch ribbon now, so when we edit hatches, we immediately see the changes that are applied. But the problem was that that ribbon could only be used to edit one hatch at a time. Well, now in 2013, you can select multiple hatches, and whatever changes you make in the ribbon are applied to all the hatches that you currently got selected. Wow, sounds like the way it should have always worked. I think so. Let me show you. Modifying an existing hatch is quite easy, and there are several different ways you can accomplish this. The easiest way to modify an existing hatch object is to simply select it. Notice that as soon as you select the hatch object, the ribbon changes to the Hatch Editor Contextual Ribbon, and I can see the current settings for the hatch. If you wish, you can select additional hatch objects. You can then change any property associated with the hatch objects you selected. You can choose a completely different hatch pattern. You can change the scale and the angle. Notice that as I make each change, all of the selected hatch objects change to reflect the new settings. When you're finished making changes, click the Close Hatch Editor button.